Hey Google, set an alarm for 5 a.m. There, your alarm set for tomorrow at 5 a.m. Oh, I'm not excited to wake up. Good night. It's early in the morning. My eyes were sore last night, so now like they've woken up and they're all like swollen. I should try to put some eye drops in. I really love sleeping. Because we're doing conditioning today, I want to get a, one of my higher impact sports bras like this one because running with D's is actually really annoying. I think we got a lot of things I've got to do in this vlog for breakfast. But I want to paint the new painting for the new house. It's so darky. Okay, I'll tell you later what we're about to do. Let's start driving. Oh, it's so dark outside. You can tell we're starting to get into winter here in Australia. I don't like it. I hate winter. Oh, I did it. I've wiped down most of my sweat, but that was a really, really hard session. So the first thing I want to do is get some eggs and some bacon, so then we can make some egg and bacon with muffins. I don't know what it's like in your country, but here in Australia, it's very common for girls just to wear active wear, just anywhere. Like I've seen girls who haven't even gone to the gym wear active wear, like in the shops, just to go like, to a shopping mall. But yeah, I'm not sure if it's like this in your country, but it's very, very common here. Talking me, I've got to sort out like the living rules of, um, Wait one second. So we're looking for cheese and bacon. Where's the bacon? Oh, here we are. Which cheese do you put on egg and bacon? I don't know. Let's just get the perfect melt. I can't remember whether there's sauce on the burgers or not. Can you remember if you've ever had an egg and bacon with muffin? Like, is there like tomato sauce? Okay, we've well, got all the stuff I need. Let's hope I haven't forgotten anything. The thing that I was going to tell you about is that, um, so here we need to sort out like the whole living arrangement we're going to do it because we are going to be housemates and we need to like work out like some boundaries and that sort of stuff so then we can live together in peace. We don't think will happen. I just want to like, you know, clarify everything. So here we go. Do you guys do that at breakfast or like later on? I don't know. I just dropped Biggie off at tennis. Bye bye. Bye bye. I actually really like Biggie's tennis outfits. I'm back home now. I'm going to have a shower, get dressed, maybe do some makeup because I like wearing makeup. I hate wearing bare face. Like, I do it like to go to the gym and that sort of stuff, but like, I don't know. Boys would never understand what it's like to have a fire playlist playing and like doing your makeup before like something exciting happens. That's like the peak of like girlhood, I feel like. Here's my outfit for the day. I also need to do my hair. I hate my hair back like this. I'm gonna use some of Lincoln's Clarif, I forgot what it's called. Clarifique. It's just like water, but that's not water. It feels very nice actually, especially when it's cold because I've got a beauty fridge. I got it for like 60 bucks. Australian dollars at like Kmart and it just works really well. Really need to get some more stress. Oh, this one's almost out. I went surfing two days ago and there was this really beautiful boy. He was like, it looked like a European model. He was so cute. And guess who went up and said hi? Me. There's my skincare done. He was really sweet actually. He had a really cute smile. Later on with Socky, like what rules should I establish about us living together? Because I really like like scented candles and I like like scented diffusers and that sort of stuff. You know the like the wall flowers whatever they're called that you can get from like Bath and Body Works? You plug them into a wall, put a scent in and then like it makes the room smell nice. And I really like it but I don't know if Socky's gonna let me do stuff like that even though like I really like that sort of stuff. But, and I really want to have a tea set. Got some concealer on. So excited to see that house again because that's going to be in an upcoming vlog. I was getting to like actually show you that house because it's a really, really beautiful house. We're moving really soon. So this is probably going to be one of my last nurses do stuff we ever film in Newcastle, which I'm so excited for because I can't wait to move. Have you ever moved like overseas? What's that like? That must be crazy. Imagine moving to a country whose like first language like isn't English. I have to like learn a whole new language. That'd be crazy. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to move. We've been literally saying we're so excited for the move like every single vlog for like, the past year, but it's just like, I don't know, I just can't wait for it to happen. It's just taking so long. Have you ever been so excited for something like it keeps getting put off? Like that's how I feel, it's really frustrating. We've been looking for houses to move out of Newcastle for like four years because we were going to move to the Gold Coast before we found the house in Sydney and then bought the house in Bondi. Um, I'm just like so excited to start that new chapter of my life and it's just like keeps getting put off. But we've actually got a surfboard competition next week and I don't think if I was a surfer to begin with I ever would have started YouTube because the reason why like I kind of started YouTube was because I won the Ellen Show and I realised I really liked being in front of a camera and the, how I got into the Ellen Show was because I did an interview on an Australian like um, morning show and it went really big and then Ellen saw it and then like she invited me to America which is a big deal because America's like on the other side of the world from Australia. So. So that was like a big, big deal for me to go to America. 
It'd be fun if we got to go there again. And the reason why I went on that Australian TV show was because I got a wild card into a professional surfing competition when I was 11. And now here we are, a couple years later, still going. Uh, I'm getting my lashes redone tomorrow because I get like a infill every two weeks because like I surf. You go to sports and you get like all sweaty, like you, and you surf and you're rubbing your eyes, your lashes fall out a lot easier than like if you were doing nothing. I'm really excited to show you my guitar because like I've been practicing a fair bit. On my first TikTok that I posted myself of me doing guitar, so left a lot of like supportive comments. So it's really motivated me to be, to, um, be better. Anyways, I think we are talking about surfboarding competition, but I just like forgot to say about it. But anyway, we've got a surfboarding competition there this weekend, so I really hope that I win because I'm a very competitive person, but I probably won't. Do you hear up or hear down? I don't know. So bacon and egg McMuffins. Can I pull this off? You know the term bed rot? Do you like doing it or not? Because personally, I hate it. I'm someone who, if I'm left alone in my thoughts, I think I go crazy because I do not like being by myself. It makes me very, I don't know, I just don't like it. I love having plans. I love to look forward to stuff. We've got like 15 minutes till B gets back, so I think this should be more than enough time. I'm quite excited to move in with Socky because Socky's a really good cook, so I'm gonna have like proper food like every single day. I'm gonna miss this house. I've been like living with Fliz, my grandma, for like maybe a year now. It was these amazing egg cracking skills. And I want you to do something at the same time as I'm filming this video. I want you to like, you know, have a bath, do your nails, watch with a friend, online shop at the same time. I'm not sure. So yeah. Do something that's like, like paint or like draw or something, I'm not sure. Or do your homework. It just, when I watch YouTube videos, it really helps me enjoy the video a lot more than compared if I was just sitting there doing nothing else. What's your plans for today? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna be productive or have an unproductive day? I think Socky's actually quite excited to get herself into a relationship. She keeps like talking about it. Like she keeps saying that she's not excited, but she, I think she is. Give this another shot. We won't cook them for so long, I think. Now I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna get the muffin and we're and I think we're gonna put it in the microwave. Now it's melting. So I made breakfast for me and Biggie. Yeah, I'm what, too full. I had a whole bowl of Fruit Loops. Oh, when was this? Yeah, today. Good? Decent. Mmm. Tastes like, like a low budget version. Yeah, <laughs> like that. Are you going for a chef's day? I'm not sure. It doesn't look too bad. It's good. Mm. Yeah, I'll go. Do you wanna go? Yeah, I'll go. I'm having a chat with Socky today about all the rules we're going to establish with us moving together. What do you reckon I should say? Mm. I reckon you should just tell Socky she's the boss of the kitchen. Mm. And establish rules saying, that means you take care of it and it's your job to make sure it's clean. Mm -hmm. But then you get to be the boss of it. You understand what I mean? Yeah, that makes so sense. Like, but that doesn't mean you just like stuff the no, sugar in the not. fridge just because you can. Because mm. there's two living rooms in the house. There's a downstairs like living room and there's an upstairs living room. I think I should own the downstairs one because I reckon that's where we're going to do all of our entertaining. I want to invite people over to the house so they can be fun to entertain. Do you think I'm going to have my of candles everywhere? No, I don't think Fucky would like that. In your room. Why don't you just have it in your room? And the dog food can't go in the community fridge, thing, I reckon? No. No. Get a mini fridge. Mm. Bye. Hopefully this big storm cloud doesn't hit before we go surfing. Because you can't surf in the lightning because there's a pretty high chance of getting struck by it, I think. Guitar's actually really helped me with a couple of things. It's been like my obsession at the moment. Like I'm definitely not great or anything. I really hope that you don't skip through this part because um, I really like when people listen to me play guitar and I really hope that you like it. And can you please just watch through it? Also, try to guess the songs I'm playing. <laughs> That's from. I've recently, well not recently, I've always kind of been into like punk because my dad always used to play it when like we were growing up. I love my chemical romance, they're so good. <laughs> I love showing people my guitar. Give the horizon is coming to Australia, and it's probably like by the time this video is out, they're like the concert's like so close, and I really, really, really want to go. I don't think I'm playing this right because it's, it's quite tricky, but yeah. the guitar solo to Valentine, my life will be complete. And this is 
my new favourite song is called Body Bag because I'm a big fan of Youngblood and he's actually inspired me to get back into guitar. <laughs> If someone plays electric guitar, how do you use a pedal? I had this dream the other night where like my crush, but anyways, we were sat together and like we were just like, you know, cuddling and then all of a sudden he starts like kissing me on the forehead. I don't know, I'm blushing because this is just really awkward, but I want to tell you because like, I don't know, I think like it's funny. Like, he's, 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 this is someone who I don't know. Like, this is a crush who doesn't know I exist and who doesn't live in Australia. Anyways, I stop it because he has a girlfriend. It was a dream save. We could have went all the way, you idiot. I'm just like so pissed at myself. I was like, ah. <laughs> Surfing in the back, we have Goki. I've got something to ask you, Socky. What? Later on. No. Yeah. Yes, Socky, it's going to be very controversial. I have got my toes on with windscreen. People in love. <laughs> Same as sounds so happy for them. The surf is actually really good. I'm actually glad that I brought my full length out because it's quite cold. <laughs> What's the question you're going to ask me? Can you guess? Sorry, sorry, I'm going to go away. Oh, you reckon? Maybe. Oh, I thought you could be going this one. Go, Sark. What'd you get? That's nice to get. Nah, someone else got it. Wait, over there. Soren. They were really close. <laughs> So we did it! How was it big? It was great until we got crowded. So the big question is, what's the rules that we can establish while we live together so we can live in harmony? That that's the big question. Yeah, well we need to like make sure that we can live together well. Well, what did you think the big question was? I don't know, I just thought it was more interesting. Oh, Soggy has someone from Australia who she thinks is really cute. Who? He's blonde. Who? Ooh, who is that? <laughs> so you know exactly who it is. What do you think the rules should be? I would like to have um, smells. No. Oh. And I think that we mean I smells. The plug-in like smell things. Like oh things. no. Go by my bedroom though. Yeah, that's why it smells weird. <laughs> and I don't want to put the dog food in the real fridge. You need to. They don't have any dog food in the fridge or freezer. In the freezer is fine no, because it's it doesn't smell. I want to be the one who decorates the downstairs living room. So your taste is really, really. I want to do like a beast theme, and I also want to get a tea set. No, we are gonna have tea. Then, like if we ever have people over, who are like posh, we can just like set up like high tea. We're not living in the 1800s. <laughs> What's the policy if someone of us like gets a partner? Yeah, what's the policy about bringing. No, yeah, you can't. What's the like, policy about <laughs> bringing friends over? You can't bring a friend over who you like or I don't like. But that's not my problem if you don't like him. It is a problem. I get vibes from people. If someone's annoying, I'll like send them out. So everyone's family says they get vibes from people. If you get a boyfriend, you can't send them over like 24-7. Are you my mum? I'm your older sister. Because I say you want to have like an upstairs party I think with your friends. What well, happens? I think because we're very close, they'd be both our friends. We share friends. So I don't think it's a problem. I think it's a single friend I have who doesn't know you exist. It's like what? You, you're telling them you're the only child no, in the family? No, no. It's just like everyone knows I've got like a sister called Socky and like most of them have met you. What about you having like a 10 person party? Mm. I don't like some people in your friend group. I don't know. Right. What if you really like this person? And I was like, I don't like him. You might just have to suck it out. So like, if you get a boyfriend, then you can't just like bring him around. Like say, say, but let's have a movie night. And all of a sudden, all mates just sports movie night. Say, let's have a movie night with my boyfriend. <laughs> we both have boyfriends and what happens? <gasps> we can do double dates all the time. <laughs> what if we date brothers? No, that's <laughs> weird. Whenever I throw a dinner party, can you do the food for it? Why don't we both be healthy there? No, you're gonna convert me to your healthy diet. If we're both living in the same house, why can't we just both eat the same food? Well, we can meet somewhere in the middle. I'll go healthier, you go unhealthier. We can be like in the middle. <laughs> I think our life's gonna change so drastically. Like what? We're just two of us in a house. Yeah. Crazy. Can't believe people at my age actually move to the other side of the world. So, okay, here's my rules. Okay. I propose some rules. Okay. We've got 
four rolls, I think. I really want to buy certain plates. That's what I want to do. Buy certain plates. Yeah, there's these turquoise and gold ones from Amazon that look so pretty. On oh, Amazon, no. Okay, these are my rules. Okay. No smells. Mm -hmm. So I mean no smells. You can do your nails and you can do your tan. Okay. But even then, that's really smelly. Can we buy a pool table? You just kind of knock balls in the hole though. It's really fun. I think I really want to entertain. Hey, what's the rule for that? Like, can I do it like once a week? Next person's turn! Biggie's coming! I mean, I'm not your mum, but I also have to respect your lucky boundaries. As long as I know something's happening, you can do something as many times as you want. Okay. Like, imagine there's a line on the door, and if your mess comes out of that line, you die. That's where your mess has to stay. So I can keep my room as messy as I want. Biggie, do you have no ears? Come now. <laughs> <laughs> he cooked and the barbecue was flaming. Oh, shut up. Flame has come back in the century. Do you know what this has made me think? What? We're gonna be, it's gonna be fine living together. Yeah, we're quite Because good. like, we have no rules. Yeah. <laughs> no! No! Hey, I'm not no. like a 13 year old who's no. my life. No. I'm taking it away from Naz. Naz, do the hair properly. Hey, do you happy birthday? <gasps> careful, careful, he's venomous! Wow. Ah. Whoa, someone's angry, look at that. 